The Ebola outbreak continues to royal West Africa. Both affected and non-affected countries in West Africa are aware of the worsening epidemic, and most have measures put in place with the deadly virus. Dancing to the rhythmic sounds of drums, this troupe is performing at a school in Côte d'Ivoire's commercial capital, Abidjan, to the cheers of an excited crowd of young students. The show is part of an awareness campaign against the Ebola virus that has been added to back-to-school programs throughout the country. How do we ensure that coming back to school is safe and that certain students don't feel excluded? Maybe there are students who came from other countries that have been affected and who have now been in Côte d'Ivoire for a while. We have to find a way to involve them without excluding them and also raise awareness amongst other students. Though Côte d'Ivoire has yet to register a single Ebola case, it has adopted a number of measures to curb the virus. Hand washing stations have been positioned at the entrances of government buildings in Abidjan. People have also abandoned the traditional three kiss greeting. And for these children, a playground game they call Ebola, where they quarantine their classmates, is one of the many ways they are learning about the disease. When a child is contaminated, it's then passed on to the teacher and then to the rest of the class, usually made up of between 60 to 80 students. It also means that it's more than 80 families that will also go on to catch the virus. Despite all the measures that have been taken, many of the parents say that they are still skeptical that the authorities can tackle the virus. We are very worried because the Ebola scares us. It's killing our brothers and sisters in the region. It's very worrying. We also need to take precautionary measures. The government needs to let us know what prevention measures are in place, then we can make sure we do not also catch Ebola. Ivorian authorities say they are encouraged by events in Senegal and Nigeria where relatively rapid government responses appear to have contained outbreaks. Mahemutwa, CCTV.